Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about diesel particulate filter DPF regeneration for BMWs. It actually applies to all diesel cars but we're going to demonstrate it using my BMW F30. This is your uh, DPF filter which reduces the emissions, uh, that's the whole purpose of having a DPF filter in your car and if you don't look after it, this is what you get after a short while. We're going to be using it with uh, a beamer tool application which will allow us to monitor the soot level and then how to clean the DPF. These are the uh, prerequisites to start the regeneration process. But before we start, we're going to be trying the natural regeneration which the soot level must be over 20-25 grams or 40% on Beamer tool soot level and then once you reach 60 mile per hour the natural regeneration should start automatically and unfortunately BMW doesn't have any displays or indications on our drive screen or anywhere in the car regarding this suit level so we don't know when to do it exactly that's why we need an application uh, such as Beamer tool. The entire process takes about 20 minutes to half an hour on a steady speed so that's why I'm going to uh, fast forward the video just to finish the natural regeneration process and then move on to the forced regeneration uh, to complete the whole DPF cleaning process. During this process of course we're just burning the soot uh, that sticks to your DPF filter rather than cleaning the um, actual DPF. Taking it off and then uh, doing a certain cleaning requires a different approach. Forced regeneration is going to be uh, regardless of your soot level you just press on the regeneration button and click on OK and then regardless of your soot level it starts the regeneration it sends a regeneration request to the car as you can see a green ticks and then activates the regeneration but again your speed must be steady at or around 60 mile per hour at a minimum and then forced regeneration is going to start cleaning uh, your DPF filter soot level is going to come down if it's down to let's say around about 10% or below 10% that means you're good to go for another couple of months depending on your journey habits these soot levels uh, normally build up when you do a lot of short journeys with your diesel car but I remember when I purchased my car from BMW, they told me to drive my car on a long journey once every month. And I didn't quite figure it out at that time and asked them, like, what is the logic in this driving my car once every month on a long journey? And then they tried to explain me about DPF cleaning. But again, I asked them, what is the logic behind it if I don't know the level of soot build up in my DPF? and then they couldn't really uh, answer my question so BMW doesn't really allow us to see this soot level anywhere in the car they just recommend you to drive your car on a long journey once uh, every month or two so this approach by BMW tells me that uh, they don't really uh, tell you to look after your car they just uh, expect that your DPF is going to get blocked and then once you come to the dealership or garage uh, they're going to ask for replacement because especially when the DPF level is over for, uh, over 90 percent there is no way that any cleaning can be carried out on that DPF it has to be replaced so that's why um, BMW doesn't really make sense um, in DPF regeneration process because they're not telling you uh, the exact uh, numbers or approach on DPF cleaning or suit level um, build up in your DPF filter so all you're gonna get is in the end a completely blocked DPF and then replacement is going to cost you at least in the UK it's around about two thousand pounds which is an eye-watering price 
On the other hand, uh, if you are aware of your other options, alternatives, uh, like this video and certain apps that we're using to keep our DPF clean, you are going to be um, naturally looking after your car and then your car is going to look after you. Um, in general, DPF cleaning doesn't really require any specific approach. All you need is a simple application and then some uh, highway speeds around 60 mile per hour and an actual lifespan of a DPF filter is around about 125,000 miles on diesel cars uh, which then needs to be replaced and registered back in your BMW uh, if you don't want to replace it even after like it, it got completely blocked by ash or ash level uh, has reached a peak um, to maximum level you can still uh, do some chemical cleaning or some uh, certain cleaning using uh, a variety of different ways which you can find on YouTube very easily so you can use the same DPF even after 125,000 miles um, because the elements and metals they're using in DPF uh, filters are extremely high quality meaning that they can easily give you another 125,000 miles after a good uh, cleaning. Every few hundred miles I connect my Bluetooth adapter and see the soot level which then shows me the exact level of soot built up in my DPF so accordingly I carry out my cleaning I recommend this to everyone every BMW diesel drivers. Hope you enjoyed the video and find it useful and I'll see you in the next one thank you